Again, sorry about the background noise. I promise you that will change soon. This video is going to show you how to update your Evo 4 GLTE to the very latest version of Sense 4.1. You're going to need to have custom recovery and S off to do it the way that I'm doing it. This video is going to be assuming that you have S off like I do. What we're going to go ahead and do is open up Goo Manager, which we do not have, so we'll open up the Play Store. Type in Goo Manager. Install, press accept and download, and it's very small, it doesn't take long, it's going to want root permission, allow it. In here, you're going to want to press menu, which is this button right here on SageMod 10, and on Sense 4.1 you can reassign it to that. Install Pinscript Recovery, press yes, and you'll want to make sure that this is correct. This is the latest version as of this video, you'll just press yes, and then you'll press yes. And then it'll count down, and once it's done, it'll start downloading it. We do actually have this version. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the process. Up there, it's downloading. It's a small file, so it shouldn't take long at all. Once it's done, you won't need to touch or do anything. It'll automatically start saying, installing recovery. Sometimes it'll reboot. Sometimes it won't. Most of the time, it does not reboot for me. I don't know if it's when you go from Clockwork Mod to Torp Recovery because I don't use Clockwork Mod Recovery. If I root my phone and the root method comes with it, I immediately install Torp if it's available. Looks like it's downloading rather slowly, so yeah. Just know that when it's done, it'll automatically say install and recovery and it'll either reboot or it'll just be finished and you can press reboot recovery and press yes and it'll reboot you in recovery. I'm obviously not going to wait on it. We're going to power it down. I'm going to show you the manual way of doing all of this. I've done many, many videos where I use Goo Manager and have the entire process automated where you just kind of set it and forget it. You don't have to wait for each individual step to finish before moving on to the next one. Alright, now let's power down. We're going to press volume down. Oh, that stupid file is on the SD card. That's okay. The ROM is on the internal. So when I reboot, it's going to go into bootloader and then it's going to want us to install that stupid update.zip that I just made a video on and is currently exporting. I will link to that video in the description of this one. You'll want to make sure that you check it out because it will show you how to update your radios to the very latest version. Remove the SD card. You don't have to do this unless you're like me and you have that PJ1 whatever file name zip on here and the bootloader tries to install it and you have to press volume down, press power and it reboots, reboot the system. You can leave this in only if you go to ES File Explorer and you delete that file that's on the root directory or wherever you placed it. Instead of doing that, we're going to do it the easier way and just pull it out for now since all the files are on the internal storage anyway. Press volume down and power and then just wait. There we go. Now that the SD card isn't in, it won't check for that file that is currently on here that I need to delete as soon as I possibly can. I do recommend putting ROMs on the internal storage as that will be a faster flash. And as you can see, I do have the later radios. Press volume down and then power. Wow, you can hardly see that at all. Eh, that's still not that much better. There we go, I turned off the super bright lights and yeah, here we go, you can see the stuff better now. Alright, you can do this a couple different ways. You can press wipe, factory reset, and swipe to wipe. But I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to install and in my Goo Manager folder, which is how I normally flash ROMs, because it's automated, pretty much just set all the zips you want to flash and bam, they're done. It's, you know, much faster. I'm going to choose the super wipe. You could swipe it and then you could go back and keep doing it over and over again. But something I keep forgetting about in Torp Recovery is you can press this right here, go up a level since I do not have the ROM in the Goo Manager folder, and just go down here and you'll see it. Jewel 2136511. OTA, ODEX. There is a DODEX version. The DODEX version is for people that want to install like different themes and customize their phone a little more. I actually prefer Android the way it was meant to be. AOSP, it's why I'm a huge Signs of Mod 10, CM9, CM7 kind of person. But since that's not quite fully stable and everything working like you'd expect it to, we're going to go ahead and press on this. Now we have 2 of 10 to flash. Now I can just swipe to confirm flash. And at this point, I think I've done everything right. Now, you will want to make sure your Google Wallet is reset. I didn't do that, so yeah, it may or may not work after this video. I've made plenty of videos on how to wipe your Google Wallet settings. Just open the Google Wallet app, press the menu button, or the on-screen menu button, whatever, and then go to settings, and then there'll be a clear wallet settings thing, and you just press on it, press yes, and then you can reboot the recovery and continue to do what I'm doing here. 
Basically, a super wipe wipes more things than just doing a factory reset will wipe. And it does it like optimally, performance, and hands, blah, 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 you know, right there. So it's a better way of flashing a new ROM. If you want to know how long this took, as always, just pay attention to the clock at the top left of the screen. And my battery's about to die, so I gotta swap the battery and my camera out. Alright, brand new fully charged battery. As you saw, we had Science Mod 10. You might have since 4.0. Who knows? When you reboot the system, we should see the like stock HTC stuff. This is a completely stock ROM, but it's rooted. And you don't have the new H boot, you don't have anything bad that you don't want, just stuff that you really want. See, that's where it says my name right there because I customized it. Sweet. So far, so good. All right. I mean, so far, we've got success. In a minute here, I'm going to reboot it in the bootloader and make sure that we currently have S off still because S on is very bad and nobody wants that. This phone is not activated at the moment. Stock keyboard that I always replace with Swift key as soon as possible. Do you even get the quick settings? I don't know yet. Skip. No. That is one thing about custom ROMs like Mean ROM, which after this video, I will start working on my updated Mean ROM 4.4 or 4.5 if he updates it by the time I get around to doing that video. That does not have this screen right here. You don't have Tell HTC. Tell HTC, it's basically kind of like CIQ in some ways. If your phone messes up, it sends a report to HTC, and I don't want HTC knowing this stuff. You'll definitely want to sign into your Dropbox account because it gives you extra storage. Ooh, hey, if you sign into your Dropbox, you get 25 gigs. Turn on. Ooh, you do get 25 gigs. All right, so we're signed into the Google account now. Press next, finish. And what the heck is that update at the top there? It looks like it's trying to tell me there's some kind of update, or I guess notification at the top. No, no quick tips. Updates available, application update, okay. So it's not like a ROM update or anything. With like mean ROM and other custom ROMs, this is mapped as the menu button, but on here it's mapped as the recent apps button. Holy cow, it's downloading all of her apps. <laughs> Settings. Display, gesture, and buttons. That's a little bit different than since 4.0. Recent apps button. Press for menu, press and hold for recent apps. Now if we back out and we open the Play Store again. Come on. Yep, that is now the menu button. Except with like Mean ROM and other custom ROMs like I said, it totally gets rid of that menu button up there. So yeah, when you're in apps like Facebook, there is no menu button there at all times anymore. It's actually right here. And if you press and hold it, there's your recent apps, and you can just swipe them out of the way. Doesn't look like it comes with too much. Pressing it here doesn't take you to your settings, though, so you still gotta go up here and press settings. And then we're gonna go down to about, and there you'll see we are running software version 2.13.651, and then the other stuff that goes with it. Software information. Android 4.04, since 4.1, and of course the software version again. And if you press more, there you go. Before I end this video, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to manually power down. This will be a good time to show you the whole fast boot thing. Go here under power, and make sure that's not checked. And then hold the power button, and then choose power off and wait for it to power down. Volume down to power. There we go. And you'll see at the top, we still have S off. 
We have the latest radios. We have the latest everything. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click, but it goes a long way, and I truly appreciate the support. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos, and you won't miss any videos on the HTC Evo 3D, Evo 4 to E, Samsung Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, Transformer Prime, and future devices like the Galaxy Note 2 and the next Nexus and etc. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. If you don't see the screen immediately and you see these lights flash, just make sure that you let go and immediately press volume down and hold power again.